I remember Arden having a bit of a bad girl persona in high school. She was independent. She didn't need a man. She never wanted to get married. But clearly, you caved on that. <laughs> you, you always find me here. For those who don't know me, I have always been very picky with the men who have entered Arden's life. When I first heard about this Justin guy, I didn't really know what to think until I met him and I knew immediately he was different from the rest. Arden, I don't know how you, you managed to not scare Justin off, uh, I'll be honest. I thought you'd be running for the hills when you first started dating, but um, I guess you, know, you are at the yin to Justin's gang. And uh, for everyone that knows Justin, he has the patience of a Tibetan monk. Um, and Arden has the patience of a uh, Latvian Taylor. <laughs> for the two of them, you could see that it was love at first, second, and third sight. He is her Prince Charming, and it seems to me he gives her all that she needs. A strong arm, a sympathetic ear, and his credit card. <laughs> Hey, I brought her to and I remember being in her room. Mary Beth came in and I go, you know what? I'm not giving her away. <laughs> what were you talking about? I said, well, I'm not giving her away. I said, I'm not doing it. Yeah. Right? I'm not yeah. doing yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. As a dad, you, you always want what's very best for your daughter. And is Justin the very best for her? And when I first met him, I didn't want to like him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's very likable. He brought me a bottle of caps from California, from Napa. Well, that's my favorite. I remember when I first met Justin back in 2016. I was sitting with Amanda and Caitlin, and I was telling them, I need to find a guy who's at least 6'3 or 6'4, because I like, I'm tall, and I like to wear heels. And they told me that's nice, but I might want to lower my expectations a little bit. Sure enough, a few weeks later I'm hanging out with some friends and in walks the most handsome man I've ever seen. But, more importantly, he's 6'6". Six six. <laughs> but Arden, I don't know where to begin. You know, there, there aren't enough words that to describe how much I love you. I've thought about this speech for a long time. And I still can't perfectly describe how perfect you are to me. Arden wasn't feeling well, so you know Arden has ulcerative colitis, and there's some times where it's very painful. And I remember one time she was up there, she was just, she was just in pain. She was laying on the floor. So I went in to check on her, and Justin was laying on the floor beside her. There you go. Right. 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 In my darkest hours, she is my light. And in my triumphs, she is the one that makes them brighter. Her uniqueness is what everyone loves about her. And now that she's my wife, I'm blessed with the liberty of her grace for the remainder of my days. Justin has proven to be more than just a tall, handsome guy. Over the past four and a half years, I continue to fall more in love with you every single day. Thank you for always being my number one supporter. The person who I can count on no matter what. And also for reminding me not to take things so seriously all the time. I need that. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> I could easily ramble on the rest of the night about how amazing Arden is. But uh, that still wouldn't be enough time. Arden, when we uh, grow old and it's just the two of us, I'll know I'm home. Up until now, home was indeed just a dream before you came along.
Every single day you make me smile. And I could not imagine my life without you. You are truly my soulmate and my other half. I love you so much, Justin. I love you now, I love you tomorrow, and I'll love you beyond my last breath. Arden, my angel, my wife, thank you for everything you are, and I love you so much.